Hello, it's Flora from Britsen. And Kathy from Britsen. How are you today, Flora? I'm good, thank you. I'm yeah, pretty excellent actually. How are you? I'm very good. I played some Christmassy tennis yesterday, oh. so I'm very achy all over. Um, and it was very cold. It just involves tennis, but in like Santa hats and with lots of tinsel. Oh, that sounds lovely. That is the only way you can get me to do tennis, I think. <laughs> How has your week Yeah, been? it's been good. It's getting so cold now, isn't it? I really can't stand these dark mornings. It is freezing. Like my first lesson's normally in semi-darkness at the moment, which... Yeah. Is not my favourite. I'm an absolute sunshine person. Oh yeah, 100%. I think seasonal affective disorder is coming in with the holiday cheer. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I think yeah. so too. Have you got one of those lights that like emulates the sun? No, but that is something I should put on my Christmas list. You absolutely should. They're really good. I've got two, which is a little bit excessive. Yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> one is an alarm clock. So one like mm. wakes me up with the light which I got for my birthday. And then I had, I've had i had one for years, which is just like a massive like vitamin D source, apparently. Right, yeah. Or something. And I love it. I think it's great. It's really good for my I mood. really want to get one of those pink rock salt lamps. Are they supposed to be like holistic and therapeutic as well as pretty? I think so, yeah. They're meant to emit some sort of rays that are good for you. Anyway, mm. so yeah, I've been spending a lot of time at the shops at the moment. Have you? Have you finished your Christmas shopping? Nowhere close. (laughs) How about you? I've got my presents for my friends. That's all done, all wrapped up, all sent to various corners of the world. Family members, though, is another story altogether. Well, this brings us to the topic of today's podcast. We decided that we had so much fun last week that we were going to make this a Christmas series this month. So today we're going to be discussing Christmas gifts. We'd like to mention before we start talking about gifts that obviously it's lovely to give and receive and we're very grateful to all of the people who we love in the world who give us things and who we give things to and we are going to talk a little bit against giving and receiving gifts but that doesn't take away from the gratitude that we feel towards the people we love. Exactly as we said last week it's the thought that counts so we do always really appreciate any gifts we get and these are just our opinions more widely on the topic of Christmas presents. Anyway, on with the podcast. So Kathy, what are your like family traditions for giving Christmas presents? So we used to do every person got every other person a present, which just got excessive. Mm. Like there used to be nine, nine of us. Nine of you? How was there nine of you? Because there are two children, aunt and uncle, mum and dad, three grandparents. Wow, that's a lot. And a dog who gets more presents than anyone else. Of course, else. I remember the dog. <laughs> <laughs> from last week hey bullet making your reappearance <laughs> so that ended up being like more than 70 christmas presents which we kind of had like a family discussion and thought it was a bit excessive a bit consumerist and a bit mm. wasteful as well so now we just do like everyone brings something to share so my parents normally do all the food and people will bring like games and songs and like people play carols around the piano oh that's very idyllic it's actually really nice and it's much better than that kind of the kind of I don't know that awful mm. feeling of everyone just having too much and just feeling like Christmas has stopped being about family yeah. and started becoming a bit 100 percent. I think we touched on this a little bit last week didn't we mm. yeah I'm I totally so. with you there I think I want to encourage my family to start doing secret Santa instead sounds good yeah so secret Santa is basically where you all put your names in a hat or a bowl or something and you pick out one person at random and that is the only person you're getting a Christmas present for and you're not meant to tell anyone. Of course, you always tell someone. But yes, the result of this Mm -hmm. is that everyone only gets one present from one person. But I think that that's more than enough because we're all grown ups (laughs) now. Exactly. And yeah, it's just Christmas needs to be about like family and coming Mm -hmm. together and religion if you are religious rather than this kind of excessive amount of food and alcohol and presents that it's kind of turned into in the last few years in the UK in my experience. Even just more of a focus on the food and alcohol and I'd be happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah no I'm not saying we should have less 
alcohol in particular. <laughs> it smooths all of the interactions out, I think, between family members. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it's a mellower. Um, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I just think that the world has too much stuff anyway. Mm-hmm. Like obviously earlier on in the year, we had loads of environmental documentaries um, coming out. And it kind of makes me think of those again, of just yeah. how much waste and just stuff that is flowing about the world that we really need to cut down on exactly and I think Christmas is a huge like waste creator with Mm. all the traditions of wrapping everything up in paper Mm. and then using sellotape and all of the boxes with plastic tape that when you order your presents for people online yeah like all these small things that you wouldn't even think of like I only think of the presents themselves like people getting so Mm. many unnecessary useless things that the receiver doesn't actually even want sometimes exactly yeah yeah so what are some alternative gift ideas so I think exactly what we've both said like secret santa or bringing things to share rather than gifts also my family have started like you know those charities where you essentially like buy a goat or buy some sheep or buy some school supplies for a family that need it more than you in another country or in your home country. Mm-hmm. So people have, or we've started doing that as presents when people want to give presents. Yeah. I think that just benefits everyone more than kind of getting someone a present just for the sake of it rather than for a specific mm-hmm. reason. That's a really great idea. Mm. What alternatives have you considered or have you got in recent Well, years? this isn't as altruistic, but instead of getting people gifts like physical presents I like to buy experiences that's my favorite gift to give Mm, yeah what kind of things have you done in the past so this is actually not for Christmas but for birthdays so for a past boyfriend's birthday Mm. I got him and I tickets to go watch this jazz group it's like a collection of musicians from Africa and Cuba and they got together to make one album called Afrocubism like ages ago and then they got together to do this like I think it was kind of a one-off performance I'm not sure or just every now and then they get together but it's not very common so yeah I took him to see that and that was really cool and then I got to enjoy it as well yeah that sounds amazing do you remember that more than you remember physical things like my big 18th present was a flying lesson I think we might have spoken about it before when we were talking about how scared I am we did this in the fear episode yeah I think so yeah but that was like one of the most memorable days ever but I couldn't tell you what else I was given for that birthday so yeah I think it's kind of better exactly yeah like t-shirts or makeup or any of this stuff all fades into the background so Kathy, do you like giving gifts? I love giving gifts, I think far more than I like receiving gifts. Mm, Sometimes yeah. I feel a little bit awkward mm-hmm. and there's always like that kind of uncomfortable moment when the person's looking at you expecting your reaction and you're trying to figure out, you either do the reaction or you're like, oh my God, what reaction am I supposed to be doing? What are they looking for? And I find that quite uncomfortable. Even when I actually do really like the gift or something that's really like touching and nice, just especially when there's other people in the room. So like at Christmas time, you've got your whole family there. It just makes me go kind of mute. And I'm like, thanks. Even if I really, really like it. Exactly. Or sometimes I come across kind of sarcastic where I'm like, oh my God, thank you. And everyone's like, that's your sarcasm voice. When I'm like, no, it's It's my pressure voice. I mean it. I'm being genuine. (laughs) Exactly. But giving gifts, when you find the perfect gift for someone, Mm. it's such a good feeling when you know they're going to love it and appreciate it and treasure it. I think that's one of my favorite feelings. Yes. As I was saying earlier, I really enjoy giving experiences. That's my favorite. Mm. Yeah. And sharing sharing it with them. Yeah. I think it just extends Mm. the period of joy for the present because then they look forward to the event and then they get to do it. And yeah, it's just my favorite thing to do. Yeah, nice. So more on the topic of gifts, favorite and least favorite types of gifts, Flora. What do you like to receive? So without sounding like a spoiled brat, (laughs) um, (laughs) I like getting money. I think that's an unspoken thing that everyone likes, that it's like, you're not supposed to say it, 
but everyone likes it. Yeah, I know you're all thinking it. Um, <laughs> I just like uh, getting money that I can put towards something that I really need because then it kind of means a bit more to me because it's something I've been saving up for. Say, for example, if it's like something super useful, like a new laptop or a bike, or if there's like a trip that I'm going to go on, I really appreciate anything to help me uh, on my way with saving up for that. What about you? What's your favorite present? What's your favorite type of present? The safest present to give any adult is just like a nice bottle of wine. Yeah. Because everyone appreciates it. You know they're going to enjoy it. And like it's quite an easy gift that you know will be used. Yeah. You've got to check if they drink first though because obviously not everyone drinks. Of course, yes. My mum doesn't drink and it means that we all get nice bottles of wine and she gets like fancy glass bottles of like elderflower press. And I think she just like gets totally shortchanged compared to the rest of us no you should get them some nice chocolates or something that's the equivalent (laughs) not fancy squash (laughs) i know (laughs) what's your least favorite type of gift for i think again without sounding really spoiled as we said earlier we appreciate all the gifts we're given but often clothes that i haven't asked for because i feel like clothing is quite personal so if i haven't picked it myself Mm -hmm. I'm not guaranteed that I'll like it that being said when my friends get me clothes to be fair they're often right on the money and when it goes well I really really like it but there might be some distant relatives out there that don't quite know me well enough (laughs) to pick my clothes and also sizes like I vividly remember being in secondary school and someone bought one of my best friend's a jumper that was like two sizes too big for her that's just insulting and like it just hit her self-esteem as well like yeah especially if you're a teenager exactly like now oversized jumpers I'm like yes give them to me I want all the cuddly snuggly comfort but back when we were at school it was like a big thing you think I'm this size yeah Mm. or just as bad as when it's too small because you're like oh (laughs) now I can't use this exactly yeah so steer clear of clothes yes steer clear of clothes unless you know the person really well I would say Mm -hmm. yeah what about you what's your least favorite type of gift I think random toiletries like often packaged beautifully and looks beautiful they look beautiful and they smell amazing but it's just things you wouldn't use like bath cream like Mm. I'm still not really sure what you do with a bath cream yeah because it doesn't bubble it doesn't bubble. It's not really, it doesn't really clean you. Is it like an in-shower lotion? Who knows? And I don't have time or patience mm. to figure it out. So I think those kind of gifts very quickly shift to either being re-gifted <laughs> or heading down towards local charity shops. But yeah, I think those are probably like the most generic gifts you can go for. hundred percent. That's a, I don't know, gift. <laughs> very much. That's a secret Santa, someone you've never met, Gift. That is, yeah. That's a secret Santa of a, I'm not sure if they're in my office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who's this person? Mm. Flora, what is your vocab for this week? So my Christmas gift giving vocab is an idiom and it's don't look a gift horse in the mouth and what does that mean i've heard it but i don't think even i know what that one means so basically it means don't look for or point out faults in a gift or favor so don't do exactly what we've been doing this entire time (laughs) slating gifts that people have given you so yeah that's a good example of what not to do exactly and can you use it in a sentence Flora? well actually you can use this as a sentence on its own so if someone this christmas time says to you that your gift is rubbish you can turn around and tell them not to look a gift horse in the mouth so what's your gifty vocab this week my vocab is kind of christmasy but kind of also not my vocab is grinch mm, and what does that mean so The Grinch is a character from a children's book, but now it's come to like, just mean someone that's a bit unpleasant who spoils other people's like Christmas fun and enjoyment. So when people say they don't like Christmas, quite often they'll be like, oh, I'm a bit of a Grinch. I'm not a fan of Christmas because they kind of maybe spoil the fun for other people. Yeah, I can definitely see myself doing that, being that, being a bit of a Grinch. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a bit of a Grinch. It's not my favourite holiday. It's a fab movie though. If anyone out there's not seen it, The Grinch is excellent. Yeah. 
give it a watch. Hopefully it will be on Netflix. Oh, maybe next week we could do Christmas movies as our topic. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> All right. Lovely to talk to you today, Flora. Lovely to talk to you as well. And we'll see everyone next week. Bye-bye. Bye.